Welcome everyone for this Thursday call. This is our second Thursday call. I'm very excited about this week. Why? Because the so the Wednesday call is about leads, listings, and sales. And yesterday we talked about mindset. We always provide value. But what we want to do on the Thursday call is kind of like the unfair advantage call. Uh, because we have a product which is one click showing, one click capture that will give you an unfair advantage. We've sold systems all around the world now. And uh, we have around 30 people that have this platform. And what we want to do is to help you get familiar with it, use it, and get some success with it. So I would like to welcome Paul, a marketing director at Yates Academy and Prestige Vision. Paul has been working with us for six years. He's awesome. He lives in uh, London, Ontario. And today we're going to walk you through what is the system exactly. So the core of the system, there's two things. So first you have the software and maybe what we could do is like, maybe next week we can go through the software, but this week I want to go through the hardware, the one click capture hardware, which is essentially the camera. So I have one of it here and I want to walk you through it, right? I want to kind of like show you a little bit what this is about and why this will give you uh, so much advantage in the marketplace. So camera user guide, you press, we do the rest. So you capture within two days, we virtualize. And after that, you can start showing and selling your boat. So what does the camera come with and what are the specs of the camera? Why we love this camera and why it took us a decade, literally no joke, a decade, to wait for the perfect piece of a hard drive to finally launch it and let you guys use it. Well, first of all, this is non-tech camera. What I mean by non-tech camera, of course it's technologically advanced, but there is no technical setting. And we know that brokers are good at selling boats. They're not necessarily good at taking photos or setting up tech stuff and photos. So we wanted a camera that is super simple and easy to use. So you press one button and it will automatically set up everything for you, the white balance, the exposure, the contract, the aperture, the stitching, the blending, even the leveling. Also, we request and we ask you to try to take the photo flat, which means that when you take a panel, your camera needs to be leveled. But this is an amazing piece of software. You got a 200 minute battery life. It weighs around 150 grams and uh, you have eight gigabytes of storage. And what we have is we have 32 million pixel. So 32 million pixel, which means it takes you amazing photos. So what does that come with? It comes with the whole set. And I see we have Tony that is joining. So welcome, Tony. So that's the set. That's what you get with the set. So Tony and or anyone joining or anyone looking, because I know most of you are watching this video after the live recording, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of the equipment and then we'll ask some questions. And I know you, Tony, has the camera. So I want to make sure that you uh, you ask us some questions. We also have a little love alert. So it's very important that you have a love alert, right? So here, there is one little love alert here. You can buy it on Amazon, it costs like you know, $3 and one here. Why every time you take a photo, you want your camera to be flat. It's very important. That's how you're going to have a really nice walkthrough. So the way it's set up, there is an auto rotator. So the camera rotates automatically. So if I start the camera, and if I will press the photo button, you will see it will rotate automatically. So I will start it. And it will, up, so it rotates automatically. So you avoid the hands movement, which is going to make you uh, more challenging and uh, that can create more errors. Now, the way you set up the camera, it's not connected with Bluetooth, it's connected with Wi-Fi, but it's very easy to connect, right? I put, there's an instruction when you receive the camera. We have an instruction, little video also on the software, super easy to, to connect. The other things that you can do is uh, there is an initial setup, maybe it lasts around one minute, but it's super easy to do that. So the total time it might take you to set up the camera, maybe apply, plan for five, 10 minutes maximum, and you'll know how to use it. And after that, it's just 
15 to 20 seconds per panel. So it's super easy to use. What's a height recommendation we give you? Paul did some tests at the Miami Boat Show with tests with a lot of different type of equipment. The, the, what we request you is to be around 50 inch from the ground, which will be the point of view of like a small child, like a regular child, and will give you a feeling of more room for your boat. And after that, super easy to use. Everything is automated. So the stitching is automated. The capture is automated. And uh, there is a few more instruction here. So everything is there. So here's a quick checklist and then we'll go to questions. So number one, walk through the boat prior shooting. So before you do the shooting, make sure you walk through the boat, all lights are on, everything is tidy up, remove the, the props you don't want, then stage the boat, boat if you want. Tripod positioning, 50, 50, 15. What does that mean? 50 inch high, 15 inch open. All lights on. Electronics turns on. You can dim a little bit the electronics. It looks nicer. All TVs are off. Make sure the camera lens is clean. So if you have a little cleaning lens, I will give you the camera. You just wipe it. Always be aware of photographer's shadow or photographer presence or reflection. So you can hide. That's why you can use your phone as a remote. You can hide behind a room on a different deck, something. Um, be aware that it's going to capture everything. So remove if there is some shoes, if there is some old equipment, just hide it and try to make it nice. Uh, cabinets button, you try to push them on or make sure close all the cabinets, put the cushions nicely, the bedding nicely, the curtain nicely, and toilet bowl, toilet bowl leads down. There's a few more things you can do. Get the blinds down, approximately one third of the height of the window. Uh, make sure the boat is not moving when you shoot, if possible. The best is when you are at the dock or on a trailer. Think of post-production. Make sure that all scenes are connected visually, right? So if you capture one in the swim platform, then one in the cockpit, then one in the helm station, then one in the cabin, but if you forgot the hallway, it's going to not going to be a very nice virtual tour. So make sure to capture the hallway, for instance. Cockpit and stern, avoid partially wet floor. Sometimes the floor is wet, so maybe you can do it. You can wet the whole floor so it looks smooth. Lines, cords, ropes, if possible, remove them, hide them, store them nicely, especially for sailboat. I know, for instance, Tony is selling a lot of uh, racing sailboats. There is a lot of line. If you can tidy them up, put them nicely, then it looks really nice. And just don't forget any scene, maybe a, right, a sailing room, uh, I mean, storage in the bow where you will put your sail or the engine room, try to capture everything. And then we have some common mistake. We can talk about this after. But So, Tony, any questions? Let me see. There is a little question. Uh, Tony, any question regarding the camera? Did you start using it yet? Well, I just uh, have been doing some some trials and uh, and the trials and the thing that I I have got is uh, very nice. I I I like very much this checklist that you sent. And uh, my concern and my thing is just to after this to to get into the into the um, into the storage have to 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 send the. The, the the tour the, the virtual tour to the customer so I, I i understand that this is the what you are going to explain next no yes yes so once you capture the the photos with the camera which is very easy it's just one button to capture in this yeah, yeah, yeah. you connect the camera to your phone or to your computer there is a cable the... You can do it. I did. Wise. I did. Uh, I did uh, as you said, with a Wi-Fi and uh, and everything was very easy with a Tricio something, no, yes. with a Tricio application. So everything yes. was uh, very easy and and I saw all this um, tutorial I like very much. And uh, but I, I have no in my tripod. I have no the the leveler. So okay, I, so I you can go on Amazon. You can buy a little leveler. Yeah. They cost like three or four euro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's And fine. you yeah. just paste it. You see, it's just something like this. You paste it on your yeah, tripod. Yeah. Now, if yeah. you have a tripod, make sure not to have a tripod with your hand. Sometimes there is a hand to take photo. 
because you want the bottom to be around like this, right? 15 inch maximum. So you don't have a big cap in the bottom. And that's actually the first thing we can see here is like, you see the black mark here because the tripod was way too big. They were putting for the tripod. Uh, okay. And this is looks so much better. So okay. make sure to have a small cap, make sure it's flat. Then you go to the software, you upload the boat and you're good to go. Within two days, you have your virtual tour, but you can also organize meeting with client on board the boat. So if you're sailing racing boats, sailing racing boat, and you have a client that is in the uh, Netherlands that wants to see a boat that is in Spain, you just send them the link and you and the client meet on board the boat. Yeah. It's super yeah. easy to use. Right? So this is what I mean. Don't, don't have a tripod with a handle like this because it oh, will okay. stick up <laughs> and it's yeah. not very nice. Yeah. This is why you need a level up. I mean, our team leveled the photo when they are not leveled, but we want you guys to take flat photos. So it doesn't look nice. It's like someone looking at a boat like this. If your clients come to look at the boat, they don't look like this. They look like this. And that's why we want you guys to level the photo. So most of the mistakes that we see people doing, they leave their hands, right? Uh, or they leave props. Like here's an example on a super yacht, 50 meter super yacht, the guy leave a little monkey pet. No, we try to clean visually, check every room, remove all unnecessary objects. Another common mistake, Tony, not cleaning the bed, right? Not yeah. putting the pillow in bed. This is so easy to do. It takes you one second to do when you're on board the boat, but it's so much nicer when you look at the photos. Or look at this. This was on the Boston Whaler, very nice boat. This was the toilet, but the, the, the cushion is not put straight. And it doesn't look yeah. visually. This is when you don't dim properly the electronics. If it's too bright, if you dim down a little bit, 20% down, you will really see the screen nicely. Mm -hmm. This is a reflection of a photographer on a mirror or on a glass. You can see the pants of the photographer. You can see the face of the photographer with a remote control. Another common mistake, red light. Right. If you put the red navigation light, I'd, we don't recommend uh. putting them because it doesn't look good. Another common mistake, finger marks. <laughs> finger marks. Right. I mean, there is a lot of stainless steel on the boat and it's very easy to use. And uh, that's it for the common mistakes. Right. So it's all about using common sense. Imagine you have guests in your house. You make sure to tidy your house and make it look nice. Well, it's the same before taking photo. Make sure tidy up, it looks nice, lights on, and super easy. So that's what we wanted to do this week for this short call, just showing you the hardware, how super simple, and I'm glad you were here on the call with us to have a testimony of how easy and simple it is to use. Mm. The next step is once you have your photo, you upload to the software, and then within two days, you're going to have your virtual tour, and you can organize your meeting. Any other question, Tony? Well, um, regarding this, I think everything is very clear and very easy. So, and uh, and uh, regarding the thing that I, when I did my trials, uh, the thing that I did, I do it always in remote um, control use in order to be out of the boat and yes. out of, uh, of the, yeah. of the camera uh, picture. No, so that's the wonderful. Thing. So, how many listings do you have now, Tony? I think uh, I have um, several uh, still to put, but I think that I have 35 or something. Nice. Like nice. Yeah, no, I, I, I have some. It's good. It's good. The things are moving. and But I want to, to make the jump into into the 360. No, so, so Yeah, so make the jump. I'm glad you got the camera. So make the jump. Start uploading your boat and you'll love it. Right? Yeah. When I was a broker uh in 2007 i started doing 360 and it changed my career i was mm. traveling less than half the time so let's say for one year i had uh you know 50 appointment in a year the year after that i had 25 appointment and i sold two time more boats why yeah. because it's so much more effective people can yeah. see everything online and now not only you can see the virtual tour, but you can have a video call with a client. So you build familiarity with your prospects, which is what you need. If you want to sell boats, you need to think trust and information. 
And yeah. the trust is a video call and the information is a virtual tool. So I count on you to do that. You reach out to us if you have any question. I want to thank you guys for, for this call today. We're going to keep it short, uh, 15, 20 minutes. That's what we say we will do. Just a short introduction to the equipment. And next week, maybe what we can do, we can uh, go back and look at the other hardware. So if you want more information, you go to showandsellmoreboats.com. And this is where we have all information about the one-click showing system. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Vincent. And uh, Thanks, we'll John see you talking. soon, guys. Okay, thank you Have very much. Day. Thanks, Tony. Yeah. Talk soon. We'll bye, give you in touch. Okay, bye bye. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye, Paul. Bye, Tony. Bye, Vincent. Bye bye. -bye.